18,000 pounds worth of automatic scholarship consideration and about 1,700 pounds monthly stipend. That is what this university in the UK that we are about to explore is ready to offer you if you apply to any of their programs. And this does not matter your nationality. Now listen, normally with scholarships in the UK, you would have to apply to the program or the university separately and then you apply for the scholarship. However, this one is different. All you need to do is to submit your application to be considered for admission into the program and you would automatically be considered for the scholarship. Wait, I'm not done. If you are from a middle income country, I'm going to show you how you can apply for free. What are we waiting for? My name is Fred and this is the Fred Effect. Let's get into it. In case this is your first time checking out this channel, thank you for subscribing. My name is Frederick. I am a second year MPA student and a research assistant. On this channel, we explore scholarship and study abroad opportunities, visa interview tips, and generally life abroad. It would be great to make this channel your partner in your study abroad journey by clicking on the subscribe button, hit on the notification bell. If you have any question, simply type it in the comment section or head over to Twitter and send me a direct message. The team will quickly respond to you. Once you stay hooked to this channel, your study abroad journey is really going to be very smooth. Over the years, I've had opportunity to assist a lot of international students to their dream universities and programs. This has given me in-depth knowledge about the whole study abroad journey. So making the TFV YouTube channel your partner in your study abroad journey will make things very easy for you. So come with me, let's explore the website of this university together. I will tell you all about the scholarship, the programs you can apply to, the eligibility requirement, and which countries that are classified as low-income country qualify for the application fee waiver. So let's quickly run through some of the programs you can apply to and be considered for this scholarship. So you can decide to use the filter here to filter through according to department, either full time or part time or mixed and you know whether it's a combined a research or a third class. And the course level either is a PhD, master's post graduate diploma or postgraduate certificate. Yeah, so um, there is advanced bioscience of viral products, which is a, a doctor of philosophy full time for four years, advanced computer science, African studies, a master's degree, which is a year or nine months, it's a full time, ancient history, ancient history, PhD. Um, there is also ancient philosophy, anthropology, um, applied digital health, all the way to applied theology, which is a full time for two years, archaeological science, which is a master's degree and is a full time one year, architecture history, area studies, which is a PhD, astrophysics, atmospheric, oceanic, and planetary physics. There is also atomic and laser physics. And there is Bible interpretation, biodiversity, biology. There is also um, Buddhist studies, which is an MPhil, cancer science, um, Celtic studies. There's a lot of programs. So I'm going to share this link in the YouTube video description. All you have to do is to take your time and go through the numerous programs that they have, select which one you are interested in, and then begin your application. There's also Earth Science, Eastern Christian Studies, Ecological Survey Techniques, Economic Education. There's also Educational Assessment, Engineering, English, Environmental Research. There's a lot of programs. So take your time and go through and select which one you think you're interested in. I want to scroll to History. Um, there's a history science history of science medicine and technology there is intellectual property there's a master of science in intellectual property this is awesome international relations this is an amazing program international human rights law there is japanese studies and korean studies a lot of programs master of business administration mathematics medical science modeling for global health oncology organic chemistry organizational leadership pharmacology all the way to public policy social anthropology taxation master of science theology visual material and museum anthropology all the way to women gender and sexuality studies so yeah i'm going to share the link in the youtube video description take your time and go through and select which one which program you're interested in so let's talk about the scholarship so the scholarship is called the clarendon scholarship and um, this these are the quick facts about it the scholarship you will automatically just like i indicated in my preamble you will be automatically considered for clarendon if you apply by december or january deadline 
whichever is relevant to your course um, that is depending on the program you select either the program deadline is in december or january so you have a lot of time you do not need to submit a separate application clarendon offers fully funded scholarships covering course fees as well as grants for living expenses for the period of fee liability there are no restrictions on nationality ordinary residents or field of study all full-time and part-time courses are eligible Clarendon scholars are selected for their outstanding academic merit and potential. So if you are applying for an undergraduate program, remember you are not being left out in terms of the scholarship, right? So there is the Rich Oxford Scholarship, you know, which is for undergrad and it covers, you know, uh, course fees, grants for living costs and even air ticket per year. So, so students should note they must apply for admission to the university before they can be considered for rich for a rich Oxford scholarship. The university is unable to consider any scholarship applications from students who have not been offered a place at Oxford. So you, you have to apply first and then you'll be considered for the scholarship. And these are eligible countries. There are lots, so I'm going to share the link in the YouTube video description. It makes it easier for you to check it out. So off the top, there was Albania, Afghanistan, Chad, China, um, Kosovo, Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, Somalia, Sri Lanka, Zam Zambia, Zimbabwe, Yemen, Thailand. There are a lot of countries here. So check and find out if, you know, your country is eligible. So the scholarship cover all subjects um, except medicine. So whatever course you apply for, the scholarship covers for it. It's a three or four years, depending on, on the length of your course. So another scholarship for undergraduate is the Simon and Jun Lee Undergraduate Scholarship and the eligible countries are listed here as well. So Nepal, China, um, Pakistan, Qatar, Yemen, you know, Vietnam, there are a lot of um, countries here. So I'm going to share the link in the video description. Be able, you should be able to check that out. And, you know, these scholarships have been established by Simon and Jun Lee to provide funding for undergraduate students demonstrating exceptional academic merit who may be prevented from taking up their courses of study due to financial circumstances. So this is the scholarship timeline. Let's go through real quick. So one, you have to apply by December or January deadline, which, you know, is relevant to your course. So depending on what program you're, you're selecting, you have you have a deadline in December or January. The second thing is that your application to your course will be considered by the academics working in your proposed field of study. So, um, they would assess the academic quality and sustainability of your application. Then the third one is that the department will make the final decision on your graduate place and will notify you with outcome. So you get your admission. So after your notification of the admission into the program in parallel academics within your department will determine who to nominate to the division for a clarendon scholarship based on the selection criteria then real quick um the process varies between the university's academic um, divisions and the department of continuing education but each meet in february or march to review the departmental scholarship nomination so your department will nominate you for the scholarship after they've granted your admission the academic divisions assess the nominations on the academic merit and future potential and the top ranked departmental nominees within the division and shortlisted for the clarendon so once the shortlist is confirmed the clarendon fund administrator will contact successful applicants and will provide the scholarship offer letter which is also known as the cb1 if you are offered a clarendon scholarship this means your funding is now secure as long as you meet the conditions of your offer so during april may and sometimes into june clarendon partnership awards are matched to scholars depending on the award um, requirement no further information is required for clarendon offer holders so basically that's it so um once each scholar's unique funding package is confirmed they will receive the funding breakdown letter so yeah i'll share the link to this so that you can you know check it out so depending on which country you are actually applying from there are some sp specific international qualifications that you have to meet so each country is listed here and 
I'm going to go through some of them real quick. So you, you select the country which you're applying from and check out the requirements. So let's check out Nigeria. Nigeria, you should have, if you're applying for a master's degree, you should have an undergraduate qualification. If your graduate course at Oxford requires a stronger upper uh, second class undergraduate degree with honors in the UK system, you will usually need a bachelor's degree from a recognized university with an overall grade 2 one or uh, 65 percent or a gpo of 4.0 out of a 5.0 scale if your graduate course at oxford requires a first class undergraduate degree with honors in the uk system you would usually need a bachelor's degree from a recognized university with an overall grade of first class honors or 70 percent or a gpa of 4.5 out of 5.0 and um, if you have master's degree then your qualification will be a 65 percent or a 4.0 out of a 5.0 so basically that is for nigeria and um, so there are other countries over here as well so it will cost you approximately 75 pounds to apply to this university however you can get application fee waived under these conditions so if you fall under any of these conditions then you can apply for free so the first one is applying from a low income country and i'm going to check i'm, I'm going to walk you through the countries that are classified as low income um, according to their criteria refugees and displaced persons uk applicants from low income backgrounds graduate access program applicants applying for readmission applying for related research courses if you are from any of these countries then you are eligible for an application fee waiver so from afghanistan angola burkina faso burindi ethiopia and um, there are a lot malawi madagascar liberia lesotho mozambique nepal niger rwanda so i'm going to share the link to this website in the video description take your time and check if you find your country in here it means that you qualify for an application fee waiver and you can get a 75 pounds application fee waived and also be considered for the scholarship so which university have we been talking about so far it's the university of oxford and this is their website I'm going to share um, the link to their website in the YouTube video description or you can simply google the University of Oxford and it will take you to um, their website. Remember, I'll share the links to all the websites we explored in this video in the YouTube video description. Take your time and click on the link. It leads you directly to any of the websites that was shown in the video. In the comment section, let me hear from you if you have any challenge applying to this scholarship or the university. Also, if there are other universities and colleges you want me to explore, please let me know in the comment section. My team and I will quickly get to that. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Remember to click on the like button so that YouTube recommends this video to other people to check it out. Recommend this channel to someone else who intends to study abroad. There are a lot of insightful information that we share on the platform. My name is Fred. This has been the Fred Effect YouTube channel. I'll see you in another video.